Okay guys, CS2 is upon us, publicly released beta is um, out there already and many of you have gotten access to it and you probably uh, have experienced some problems with your config files. Let me show you uh, how it's done. Your config doesn't work if you try to execute it in uh, inside of CS2 because it doesn't sit in the same folder that it was before. So before uh, your config file, in my example, for example, fry1, was sitting in program files, steam, user data, then the number 730, local, CFG. Really random, there it was. Now, you want to copy this file, it will work with some little caveats. It will work in CS2, and I'm going to show you, describe these caveats. So you want to copy this file, your config file, and you want to uh, copy it to program files, steam, steam apps, common, then your Counter-Strike, then not CSGO. When you got access to the beta version, it installed this other folder, which is also basically the same size as CSGO. So that's not particularly fun that it occupies so much space, but besides the point, you don't go into CSGO folder. You go into game folder because game folder is the folder for CS2 right now anyway, right? And then inside of the game, you go into CSGO, I know it makes zero sense, but bear with me. And then you go into CFG. And here you copy your, uh, in my case, fry1.cfg file, right? So once again, you went from Steam user data 730 local CFG to uh, Steam apps, common, counter strike, game, then CSGO, then CFG. And from here, the game will execute your file if you uh, simply, uh, like it was before, if you press exec, fry1, it will execute the file. There are some commands missing, but it doesn't really break anything and it will work as it is basically. Now then, I'm sure some of you have experienced that you load your game or you load some kind of a config file and you cannot move and your mouse doesn't work. There are a few things that we need to fix in this config file that you've placed into Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, CSGO, CFG. First of all, in, in the previous, in the CSGO, to move left and right, there was plus move left, plus move right. Now it is simply plus left and plus right. So for your A and D keys, you want to remove that move. This is the first thing. Second thing, for your mouse to work, you need to add two new binds. Bind mouse X for your, bind mouse Y for pitch then save this and then execute it in game again and it will work your mouse will work and your movement will be fine so this is like bare bones what we need to do to get you up to speed essentially few other little things that you might want to consider if you're playing four by three stretched resolution which is a superior resolution i'm recording this uh, for the sake of the YouTube video in a 16 by 9 but I actually play um, and in high resolution and everything just for the sake of this video but actually I'm playing um, 4x3 um, 1280 by 960 and I think it's a way better resolution uh, it's like it's really great to be honest because everything is sort of st stretched your um, your models and everything kind of stretched on your screen so you can aim easier um, your because the, the target is bigger on your screen actually I've been actually playing 16 by 9 for quite a long time and then I switched to 4 by 3 and it's like it really improved my game like drastically seriously okay so if you've been playing 16 by 9 and you want to switch uh, to 4 by 3 you need to adjust M yaw because M yaw and M, M pitch you cannot adjust um, but M yaw and M pitch by default the both set to 0022 however if you stretch your screen to kind of have the same sort of good movement and precise sort of mechanics you want um, your m yaw to be 00195 you might experiment and find like better number for yourself but i found this to be like perfect for me and i think a lot of people sort of use this particular value like mathematically sort of calculate how much mouse needs to travel basically on screen things like that so you want, if you're playing 4x3, you want to set M yaw to 00195. So there are some things that do not work right now in the game. Unfortunately, uh, clear decals, this command is not present currently. I hope they will add it back. And 
uh, standard jump throw from CSGO, like the bint, like that, alias plus jump throw, plus jump minus attack, jump throw, jump, basically this alias, if you've been using it, it's not going to work in um, CS2. However, fear not, there is an actual alias for jump throws, and it's amazing, because just jumping in CS2 um, as a as sort of by default sort of uh, try to jump and like release the the mouse in the correct um sort of air time whatever it's shit and it's not consistent and this is a consistent thing alias which is funny boink <laughs> jump dink attack attack two dong i don't know who came up with this i don't know who discovered this command how people are, have done this but i will include it into uh, descriptions because this is your jump throw bind it works perfectly, uh, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Um, so yeah, uh, if they basically right now CS2 needs to fix uh, um, performance issues, needs to add clear decals and also um, switch hands. Toggle CL right hand zero and one does not work currently, which which sucks, royally sucks to be honest, especially in certain positions when you don't want your uh, gun model to obscure the vision. I hope they will add it back soon. Again, it's just, the start of public beta is going to be at least probably like six months or three months probably of this beta thing so fear not i think they will add a, a lot of stuff also i want to load the game quickly and show you a few things so first of all um grenade camera so there were a previously command to show grenade trajectory like cl grenade trajectory something like that um, right now it's just build into the game so that command will not work um, as well let me quickly show you a few little things. I have set up basically two config files for um, practice modes and to actually play the game essentially. So, as I showed you, uh, so now this this grenade trajectory is always sort of visible, and you can like jump and see where it where it gonna uh, where it's gonna go. However, once again, um, bint for. Bin for jump for right now works and you can see like on the preview boom it kind of lands perfectly by the way that's that's a smoke for for that uh, for that part and you can throw it sort of in a couple different ways blocking more or less uh, sort of for the smoke to bloom kind of further there or more inside of the tunnel just a little nugget here for you uh, if you're playing overpass so yeah uh, basically jump throw works uh, this is the best thing also if you're kind of practicing a little bit all your commands like no uh, like god mode like no clip mode all of those things will work and uh, yeah basically most of the config as you can see it says that it doesn't understand com command minus boink but again the jump throw works it's perfect no problems whatsoever so there are some like some errors in the in the console but again boom jump throw you don't need to like try to time sort of you see you see what happens like it just like it's kind of inconsistent to hear this like whoo, right but with the bind absolutely works all the time which is perfect which is this is great like i've i've I'm really happy that Valve have listened and added it back, and I'm sure they will add like um, left left hand as well, because a lot of people are playing left hand. I'm sure they will do all of the good stuff. But yeah, anyway, so uh, net graph, right? Uh, I'm sure most of us sort of love this net graph one, and it's not here. I hope they will add it right now to sh to show you your FPS CL underscore show FPS show fps one and you get this ugly red garbage which sucks and occupies way too much space and then also you have cq net graph one which is that like line right there on on the right side and it because right now i'm playing uh, on the on this um, self server essentially it doesn't show anything but it would show you basically spikes um, up and down if i would be playing on the like a community server let's actually let's let's go there also valve is still doing this thing that they join you on the server that's like 10 seconds left and it's about to go into like voting and then you are being pushed into another map so they, they still haven't fixed it they still don't understand how to like set a parameter uh of like don't don't join if it's like you know 
one minute left of the warm up of this like time, right? Or you can see you can see on the right side right now that there there is something going on, but this is not a net graph that we all kind of liked and 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 enjoyed before. So it's shit. Uh, hopefully they will change it. And so yeah. FPS is atrocious. I know that uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the high settings right now, but even on low settings or low to mid settings and on 4x3, half of this resolution, it's still like twice um, twice less FPS as it is in CSGO. So yeah. And also they have switched this, they, they added this disabled dynamic prop loading and now disconnect is the second command and it's annoying as hell because it breaks muscle memory once again. I don't know why Valve has decided to break muscle memory every step of the way. I, s I have zero clue why they've chose chose to rage war against their own um, uh, their own customers essentially. But whatever. Okay. Now then, let's quickly go into loadout. They've broken inventory completely, and so right now you have this loadout shit that completely breaks muscle memory because right now pistols are not anymore one three one five forever now it's two and now five one is not armor anymore now it's nades luckily at least four and three is sort of the same meteor and rifles right now right okay so this is sort of like a cheat sheet for you to quickly create a loadout which will break the minimum amount of your muscle memory because if you just load cs2 it's going to be trash. You will hate this game, okay? Especially if you're using keyboard to actually buy your weapons. All right, so this is my CT loadout. First starting pistol. Again, they've changed it from one to two now. So that's shit. It's already breaking muscle memory, but they seemingly don't want to change it. I don't know if you will be able to rebind it uh, like in the future, hopefully. I'm not really betting on it, but we'll see. So starting pistol, then P250, and deagle and basically this basically all the pistols are sort of the same uh it's just like now it's not not one five it's two five for a deagle um five seven four two four three and then because i don't use really uh dual berettas i switched it to cz because in some situations cz is actually preferable okay so this is one then for meteor weapon it's going to be the same three one for your mp9 three three for your ump I use MP5 sometimes, you may add something else. XM and Nova might be useful in some scenarios, so I've added it here. But for me personally, the, the thing that, that is like to keep 100% is UMP and MP9. 3-1, 3-3, so I don't break muscle memories. The rest of these free weapons I don't buy that often, so I just put it there, you know, sort of just because. Your mileage may w vary, like you may want for some map like inferno for example add a negative here for example or like p90 maybe even again this is just my config so i don't break my own muscle memory too much right the rifles i kept the same 4-1 4-2 4-3 4-4 it's all the same and it is in, in order that it is in csgo so again the muscle memory doesn't break that much okay Again, if you don't use really AUG, maybe you want to add a second uh, M4, for example. Scout, I think, is pretty useful to me because I, I use AWP uh, quite often and, you know, lesser AWP, but still can do some damage. It's pretty good. Okay. And FAMAS isn't really that bad. Okay, for T side, I've left the same pistols as they are in um, CSGO, essentially. All the same places, besides the fact that it's not 1-4-1-5, it's 2-4-2-5 right now, for example. Then, Mach 10 is the most important meteor weapon, to me anyway, so I keep it in the same 3-1 slot. Again, these three basically stay the same, exactly as they are sort of in CSGO. And then I added P90 just for rushes maybe sometimes, and XM sort of for the same purpose. Your mileage may vary, maybe you want to add like Sodo, for example, instead of XM or P90 or MP5 even. This is just for you to get like easy access into this sort of scenario, right? Again, this is all the same. Galil for one, AK for two, for three, for four, and for five, for op. So this is just a quick cheat sheet, essentially. You can screenshot it, you can pause the video and then open your game and sort of select the same stuff. This is city loadout. 
and this is T loadout. Again, I really despise Valve for doing this garbage. They've they they could have added they could have kept basically the same sort of system as in CS:GO, keeping pistols one, then two, then three, and then four. So have four columns instead of three. Instead, they've chosen that, this, and now they will realize that a lot of people don't use their stupid Negevs or M249 or Sodoffs or Novas. They will find out that they basically devalued a lot of skins right now. They devalued a lot of weapons by doing this, the Valorant style menu that nobody asked for. And especially, especially, I despise them for breaking muscle memory of more than like 15 years going all the way back to CS 1.6 and I know it wasn't like perfectly sort of the same but a lot of stuff were very similar and now they've gone to this like I guess we will have to adapt at least the Meteor and Rifles still are at uh, 3 and 4 so at least that muscle memory isn't broken but yeah just for like quickly buying nades quickly buying armor not good but Maybe they will at least give us option to actually like rebind those um, those things in the buy menu. Let's hope. I will definitely like. If you're also struggling with your key uh, shortcuts right now, write to CS:GO developers. Essentially, I'll put the link in the description, and it's a splash screen basically when you start the game right now. They encourage you to actually write to them. So please do that if you're also struggling like me with yeah broken completely broken muscle memory essentially. For no particular reason. And what's even more sort of insulting is the fact that they've actually kept a radial menu, a radial menu, radial weapon menu in the game. It's just not for buying anything. It's for actually switching. And also, obviously, they have this uh, communication uh, chat wheel, which is also radial. So they still kept this radial menu stuff, but they've completely like switch this to this stupid loadout i don't like this i'll be honest as you probably could have understood from this video anyway okay guys so this is the loadout for cs2 and um, there's going to be more tips and tricks on frytech channel so please subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one have a good game and uh, take care